Making the rosebuds can be as daunting as making the flower itself. This is aimed at making rosebud easier in four developmental stages, namely an open bud, a semi-open bud, the fully opened, and the initial bloom. We start making the bud with a 20 gauge wire. Using a plier, make a loop on one end of the wire, then wrap a strip of kitchen foil around it aimed at forming an egg-shaped base. The size of the base will depend on what stage of the bud you are working on. Few increments can be made at every stage. You can also use tissue or paper scraps for this or use a ready-made polystyrene bud. It comes in different sizes also starting from 15 millimeters. If you have access to polystyrene buds, just insert the wire onto the middle and you're done. After forming the egg-shaped base, we cover it with tissue. We cover the foil base so it would be easier for us to attach the petals using tacky After wrapping the base, we now thicken the stem with the same tissue. This is how your base should look like. At the end of the course of this tutorial, we'll need four sizes of this base with few increments in size. As you can see, I have here an increasing size of the base for all four. To make the unopened bud, we need a piece of creep paper that is enough to cover the base. I'm using red but you can choose any color that you want. Fold it into two so that you'll have three parts. Cut the shape starting from the middle, two-thirds down the grain. It will look like this. Then, slightly cup each part using your thumb and index fingers. Dab some glue and attach to the base starting from the middle petal. Do this until all three petals wrap the base. Pinch the tip as you work along so that you get a good cover. To make the sepal, we need green tree paper, 40 to 60 GSM light green tree paper, and double-sided tape. To do this, stick the double-sided tape from one end of the cree paper up to the opposite end. Peel off the white part then stick it on to the light green cree paper. We now have a two-sided cree paper. To get the length of the sepal, measure the bud from the base to the tip of the bud, then add 10 millimeters more. Cut 5 small strips, one of which must be longer than the other four. Cut to shape the sepal. One of the sepal should have a bract on the tip. Serrate the edges using a curved scissor.
Then put some glue on each sepo and attach it to cover the bag. Now we have covered the bottom. Get a strip of crepe paper. Wrap it around the base of the bud to form the seed bud part of the flower. Afterwards, cover it with florist tape from the seed pod drop down to the other end of the wire. To make the second bud or the semi-open bud, we repeat the same process as we did in the previous. We make the base and cover it with tissue. We repeat the process as what we did with this one. We get a piece of crepe paper, cut it into three parts, cut each petals, and attach it to the base. Now, we'll add two more petals to the bud to make a difference from the first one. Fold the cream paper and cut out a teardrop shape. Shape and cup it using the edge of your scissors. Put some glue and attach it to the bud. Meanwhile, leave the other side and paste it. Now, dab glue on the other petal and attach it. Shape out the edge so that it looks like a petal coming out. Afterwards, add some sepal. This time, your sepal should slightly open out from the bud, making the petal part slightly prominent.
When all sepals are attached, cover the base with a strip of crepe paper. Finish off with floor tape. Now let's check the difference between the two. This one is closed, while this one is slightly opening up. For the fully open bud, we need a bigger base than previous. We also increase the size of our petal, one that can cover the base. Our petal shape remains to be a teardrop shape. To assemble, cut and cup two petals, then paste it opposite each other to fully cover the bud. Cut and shape three more petals. With slight shaping on the lip of the petals, cup, put glue, then attach them to the bud. Now, this makes the center of the rose and you'll notice the typical rose form. Next, we make the first layer of the middle petals. Your petal size is now a bit bigger than the one you used to form the center. Shape the lip of the petal using the edges of your scissors, cup them, and paste it to the bud. Next, we add the sepals. Shape the sepal in such a way that it moves away from the bud. Afterwards, wrap the base with a strip of crepe paper. Finish it off with florist tape. We are now down to the initial bud. Start off with the base and prepare the same materials we used for the fully open bud. That is, we attach two petals opposite each other, then add three petals to finish the center. Then, we attach three more petals to make the first layer of the middle petals. Add another two or three more petals to finish.
Wrap the base with a strip of crepe paper. To make the sepal for the initial glue, cut a piece of crepe paper 40mm along the grain. Cut out 5 sepal shapes, leaving around 8mm at the base. Then, shape the sepal. Cup it near the base. Put some glue and attach it at the base of the bud. Distribute the sepals evenly as you attach it to the bud. And finish off with floor tape. To make the initial leaf set and leaf bracket, we will use Japanese crumpled paper and double-sided tape. From one end, stick the tape up to the other end. Then cut one piece of 40 millimeter height, two pieces of 15 millimeter, and one piece of 50 millimeter. Peel off the white portion of the tape and put 26 gauge wire in the middle of the tape. Fold the other half and press it down. To make the leaves, fold the paper to half and cut it to leaf shape. Using a curved scissor, Add details at the edges of the leaf. Wrap the wire of the leader leaflet, attach together the small leaflets, and seal it with florist tape. Then, we prepare the leaf brack. The leaf brack is just like an elongated leaf. Also add details to it by serrating the edges. There you go! We have now finished four bud stages along with other details such as sepals, leaf bracket, and initial set. 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and press the bell beside it to receive notification as soon as we post new tutorials. Thank you for crafting with us!